All right, guys, welcome, welcome back to the WeMax YouTube channel. I'm your host, JD. If you're new, please do smash that like button, share, and definitely subscribe. If you're an avid member of the channel, massive, massive respect to you lot. You really keep this channel running. How to become a member? Just click the join button and YouTube will help you on your way. So as you saw by the title, Mel Shidumane came out big. That's written by the BBC. We're going to go through that and go through all of the games that play today and look at the ones to come tomorrow because reggae girls will be facing France. Can they take the motivation from what Aidy did, what New Zealand did and let we continue a brilliant, brilliant um, ladies world cup because i thought it is impressive let me know your thoughts in the comment section let me start with um the piece coming from um the bbc and then we will continue straight into the conversation we are going to try and get people on the show via the via the discard so if you want to join the show you can join via the discard so they said um 80 versus england Mel Shidumane Wright uh, was the standout player in England's game against Edi. I said that live. So that tells you how clear it was and it only shows you my eye to pick up my eye to pick up pick up things. And you guys said I was overreacting. All right. England may have gotten the win against Edi to get their women's World Cup campaign up and running, but it was a player from for the tournament debutant who caught the eyes. Mel Shidumane caused the lioness numerous problems with her pace and skill and her standout performance has been reflected by a rating by BBC. Let's see what BBC gave her. The 19 year old Leon midfielder's performance was rated to 7.25 with Mary Arps earning the highest score for the for an England player, which is 6.49. That means they rated England very low. They gave Arps 6.49 when she came up big twice. All right. Um, you can see um, how the players were rated. That's good. So we're going to go through the England rating and let me know if you guys agreed with it. They said Arps got a 4.5. Daily, that came on late. She had some aerial presence. She got a 5.51. James got a 5.40, which I thought was electric when she comes on on the left hand side. She was linking up well with Greenwood. Kelly um, got uh, a 5.25. Thought that she did much better on the, the right hand side, but on the first half, on the left hand side, she never looked as sharp um, when she flicked with Grosso. All right. Then you have Bruns. Bruns, she got caught for peace, and that is something that will cost the England team throughout this tournament. All right, the card for peace problem right there. Rosso, Rosso was kept quiet. Uh, she was not as as her old self what we expected from her. Yeah, she never gave us that. All right, then we have Stanway, Stanway. In the midfield, at times she was leggy. She couldn't stop the... And none of the midfielders could have stopped the Asians, to be honest. She got booked and could have gotten sent off on the second challenge. Late in the game, I don't think it would have influenced the game that much. All right, Carter. Um, no, Greenwood. Um, Greenwood, um, I would say... Greenwood, I would say... Um, had the best game for England. The best game for England, the best player on the field was Greenwood. I am surprised that they gave her a 4.05. And this is coming from BBC. All right. Yes. So let me maximize the page so you could get to see it. All right. Yes, so let me maximize it so you could get to see it. So Greenwood, they gave a 4.5. I think they are pretty much harsh on the England team. You have some players that could have gotten higher. All right, Carter. Carter was okay. I think Carter was the better of the two centre-backs. She was the one slowing down Borgella and making the last-ditch tackle. So a 4.9190 is a bit low. She was up for the, the lady of the match. All right, Walsh, same problem in midfield. Slow, sluggish couldn't really stop um the, the asians on def defense but on attack she looks very good our one twos were off and running yes but definitely it's two sides of the game and they struggled against the asians emp emp looked at and cool she was passing players chucking back she was slow she looked a little bit 
um, not up to much fitness. So maybe she's coming off an injury or carrying a niggle or something. Yes, hence why she even made that late challenge that could have turned into a red card. Then you have um, Bright. Bright um, was okay as well. Um, she was stringing longer passes from the center back position uh, when he had bronze pushed up and left all sorts of problems on her. And for she not to have so much speed, um, she did well when Bruns got caught out on that right back side. All right, but um, the two pairing looked okay. But with speedy teams, they are going to have a problem. Technical team, they might deal with it good, but these speedy teams will definitely expose England. Um, to Ella Tone, um, she was in midfield. She was one of the only ones looked like she could try to get up to the speed of the Asians. All right, yes. So that is what BBC gave um, England. So if you guys say that we are harsh when we rated Jamaican players, oh my God. Well, now you realize BBC don't play at all. We have Jason Guna in the, in the, in the building. Then we have Corey James says fire. Massive respect, Corey James. Thanks for being here. Uh, Martin Baker, big up yourself. Um, Del Roy said, this 80 team surprised me. Respect. Yes, man. It, it, it surprised the entire world because they had it to 50 to 1. They, they, they decided, they thought that 80 wouldn't have a chance at all. And they did live up to it. They did showcase that it's disrespectful because this was a 2 to 1 game. Um, even me never had it as a 2 to 1 game, to be honest. So I'm not going to blame them. But I had it as 80 have a good shot to win it because of the skill set that 80 does um, possess. Sometimes you have teams that England and, and sometimes you have the bogey team and I just believed that this would have been England's bogey team you understand me based on the way they have set up and the way they play England like to manage game and close and squeeze you in I don't think they have that technical um Dumane type of player that will make uh, things up and inside the midfield they don't have that player they have the, the modern professional players that will always give you that normal pass so Ella Tone Stanway um they, they will always and Walsh they will always just get the direct passes no tricky added to it so their, their variety is they are not as versatile so they are predictable at times all right yeah that's the best way to put it all right, so um, Kush, big up yourself. Parky says, um, Eddie made themselves proud. We don't expect to win, but I want to see a fight and determination from Jamaica tomorrow. Yes, and that's the exact thing I've said. Just, just give me something and I'm okay with it. Just give me something. I'm not really going in these um, games, going over the top. Hey, J Jamaica going to win. A really? No, no, no. I would be a fool to think that. You get me? But um, I think Jamaica can just give us a performance like this and then anything can happen in the in the end. Because once you, you push it to the 68th minute, then the favourites will start to be, be pressured into they have to make a decision, they have to come forward and then now you can put out your isolation players, them, your... your um, <clears throat> Your Bonnie Shaw, your Jody Brown, um, those players that have speed that can change the game. You understand me? Yes, because now at the top, the favorites has to come out and play. And that makes the games definitely tricky for a lot of people. So let me go on, on, on the stat side. All right, so um, let me give you some people. All right, so um, so JA is tomorrow. We'll see. Yes, man, they are tomorrow, and I'm gonna make the stream right after this, just like I made the stream for AD, and I will be back in the morning like the Terminator. Please do smash the like button, share, and subscribe. We need 20 more subscribers to reach the big 9,500, and let, let me chop down the next 500 to reach 10,000 before this tournament finishes. Um, Fabian Full says, AD surprised me, JA. They, sh they should have won. Um, Sadna Lubin, what's up? Big up yourself. Marlon, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Corey says, um, Greenwood is good. Yes, Greenwood was the best player for England. And it was it was night and day how good she was. She was technically um, good. She recovered well in her, in her actual defense because that was one thing that England struggled on uh, on the actual defensive side. So, And surprisingly, she's the one that actually, actually have 8.2. She has 8.2 um, in England. 
the rating department. All right. Obviously, um, this is based on what you did on the field. So that's the way they, they mark your scores on. All right. But if you're watching the game, you can say, all right, then she's not picking up on the defensive side. So you can take points out there. She was definitely um, the, the best player for um, England. It was very clear. Tios um, gets a 9.3. She made good saves as well. I talk Arps um, got good saves as well and should have um, got more respect. All right. So the position now, 25%. Um, 80 position they had seven shots two on target and um 21 shots for england 11 on target and um this is 21 shots that england never had control of the game at no point they just never had control of the game and it was not even me alone saying it the commentator saying england just don't have control of this game because they couldn't stifle them because yes that's why i said in football once you can make the center box them can't come over the halfway line that's where you have the advantage you understand me and they Edie did a very good job Borgela, she was wasteful but she did a good job keeping both um of them um honest all right very much honest all right yes so um 80 lost that one one nil so um after that you are denmark versus china i don't know if it was the first game but um dullness but oh my god the game was the game was dead the game was dead i think that might be the worst game played um in the tournament because this was one nil and it was end to end um dog fight to win um that game but the, the denmark china game it makes me believe the actually believe that yes i am right i i might just believe that it's 80 and actually um 80 and actually england going through this group i think if 80 can play anything like what they did against england they might not just qualify they might qualify very much strong i think england will go through and win games but um it might still be low scoring games like one or two i can see 80 win games and they can really win games outright surprise that is weird you know england control games about the next two teams england will play face they will drop back be organized pose them problems so they have to create to get through that so based on what I, i'm seeing i'm sticking with my pre prediction i think 80 and actually england coming out of this one let me know your thoughts in the comment section as you could see um very even game denmark won it on the last kick up not the last kick but yeah, yeah pretty much the last part of the game um 13 shots to denmark two on target a piece um to nine shots right there um and as you saw there one big chance in the entire game um but they had some half chances denmark had a half chance that they drove the draw a, a good save out of the keeper and then the the goal that scored the the, the defender the, the the forward or the player the forward player the furthest player left themselves on the back of the defender defender blocked the part of the goalkeeper key goalkeeper came out and dropped short and the ball just dropped in the back of the net and denmark won the game well if denmark wants to win the game against the games against 80 or england they have to be way more um this the, dominant in their games they have to come out and fight in order to win those games um dorsey said oh, i want jamaica to show that they belong just don't get embarrassed um it's gonna be tough you know it's gonna be tough remember jamaica have different skill set than 80 so even if jamaica lose with more goals against france which i'm not expecting i i i want them to go out there and fight i'm just saying even if they lose that does not mean 80 is better than them because maybe jamaica skill set just set up for for 80 all right i do think that 80 has improved um in their setup like their their maximum they are they have improved on their style of play and know what to do so they looked a little bit more composed without the ball and they like what they do what they they like what they are doing now but i still think the jamaican team is a good team that can come out on any day and uh, if they have the attitude and the coach have the attitude to tell them to go out and play football rather than just concede to bigger teams i think jamaica can do something good and i think today's game against 80, uh, 80 england really motivated them to show them so just go out there and leave it on the line you understand me leave it on the line it, it best you you look like you're doing something on the field and trying hard and lose five nil than sit back and lose five nil you know 
Um, lawful owner, I'm going to set my alarm for, for the match tomorrow. Yes, man, make sure. It's going to be 12 o'clock, so it's a little bit earlier. No, it's a little bit later than the England game. Um, Win, big big of yourself. Thanks for being here. Fabian Full said Japan looks um the best so far. We are gonna go up to Japan right now. All right, it, it, we are gonna go up to Japan right now. So you have Denmark and I England tied for top after round one. All right, let me know your boat your your boat teams going through. I'm still picking Eddie and England to go through um in this in, in this tournament, and I think Eddie might still finish on six points. All right, and England will finish on nine points. That's what I'm predicting. I I had it from before but i am much more confident the united states game now the united states um against against vietnam this was a, a, a control dominant display you know we expected them to be dominant but we expected way more goals they missed a lot of chances um to be honest they missed a lot of chances and should have scored at least six in the game as, as what we predicted but they weren't as um cutting edge through the two final thirds all right, so they maybe they're working on things because as you saw, Trinity Radman um, came in and you had Ertz in it as well, Crystal Dunn in it as well, um, um, Savannah in it as well. You understand me? So they are working on new things. So if you don't see it the way or you think, um, yeah. Let me see how they work the next game. But they're, they're, they started with midfielders, a good amount of midfielders. I don't know if they wanted more possession or they wanted to make, get seeming um, transition. Um, it looks good. It's look, it looks good. As I saw, 66%. And their ball possession um, was okay. The ball possession accuracy, our, our, our ball accuracy was um, 80%, um, 80%. So it's not bad. Normally, they, uh, they should go up to, at the 90 when they're clicking the right way um when, when they're clicking the right way they will be at the 90s all right so maybe that, that that's why they go for the extra midfielder to try and dominate the ball so it's a first game they won 3-0 um they keep, went out and did what they have to do and should have scored more so they looked okay they don't look like the best team but it's still the first game all right so zambia now zambia 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 Zambia, Zambia, Zambia guys, Zambia guys, Zambia up against Japan, good lord, good lord, Japan, Japan beat the life out of Zambia, the first thing they do, they make sure Zambia has to have the capability to pass the football in order to win this game or have a chance in this game. They were up in their faces instant. They were up in their faces instant. They just run into their faces and they are forcing them to make passes. So you have to make the passes or else you're in deep trouble. And Zambia struggled to make ne necessary passes that um, was needed. All right. So as you can see right there, Zambia um, at 40% um, passing, passing possession. All right. That's the passing possession. But the accuracy of their passes was 67%. All right, compared with the 80% and almost double the amount of passes. So 278 passes completed um, for Zambia, 483 for um, uh, um, Japan. And they weren't just passing it sideways. It was always in transition passes. So they are not making them stop. They are making them tired. Continue to continue. They were like a machine, a machine come to mold you over. All right. Yes. All right. So let me see. How, and Danica says, um, can Jamaica get past Panama by winning? Um, no, they have to get other results. Um, we, they, they, yeah, we're going to get to Jamaica now and, and other teams. But they have to, let me just finish off this one. Take the comments. Um, Japan looks like a machine. Um, boy, Zambia shame me. Um, lovely beauty said Zambia shame there. Okay. They're going to struggle without not nearly. All right, Nali. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to check the Zambia team out a little bit more. Yeah. Zambia shame me after. I, I, they win against Germany. Germany was the better team, just the same. 
Yes, and remember, it's a technical team. I think if a team comes back to sit and slow in transition, Zambia will win the game because they have quality players. But their quality players couldn't get um, shown up today. They, they, they did not muster a, a shot on target. But yes, they created um, opportunities around the 18, but um, and, um, Japan was just so organized so organized so japan is here to get everything running that's what i'm seeing they are one of the best teams so far um at the start this is round one what i'm going to do every week i'm going to pick like for all the rounds once the runs finish i'm going to pick a, a best 11 um in that week of 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 post matches and then i'm going to post it on all the platforms so you can follow me on all the platforms so you can drop a like on it and share it and let we grow as a family all right so we're going to assess it and put all the players for week one all right so make sure you look at all your players them so once tomorrow uh, is it tomorrow yeah once tomorrow finish tomorrow finish no it's going to go until the 24th yeah it, no it's going to go to the 25th before we finish off all the games so 25th before we can do week week one all right yes so we will wait until that and we will post them on the the, the community tab we're going to post them on instagram and, and and also twitter so make sure to look out for that nearly would have um, made those saves and prevent such a, a significant deficit okay all right um say and says big up the analysis analysis king well we are trying you know we are we're doing our thing yes man we are doing our thing please guys are they coming smash the like button share and subscribe so anyways now let me move on to the games to come games to come tomorrow all right we have we have early in the morning for me seven o'clock which should be around um, um one o'clock tonight for people inside jamaica and in america's region sweden will be taking on will be taking on south africa so majority of the africans them can um, actually stay up to watch that as well all right that's coming um i do think sweden will make south africa work hard and i think sweden might come out tops in that one all right um netherlands portugal will be 9 30 in the morning i will miss that one because i will come after that stream all right yes i maybe if i'm gonna start early like one hour before i might just catch the end of that one all right so netherlands versus portugal will be a good game netherlands look like the favorites and then we have jamaica jamaica let me put up jamaica right here um jamaica right here it still says 41, um, 41 adds um, um, on the Jamaica side. Um, <clears throat> let, me, let, let me know, um, based on what they're saying here, this is what they think our lineup will be. Becca, Rebecca Spencer, four, a 4-5-1 four, system. Rebecca Sen Spencer, um, Swaby Sisters as, as both centre-backs, Vivian Sampson and Giselle Washington. That's what they said they think it's going to be. But I think um, Tierney Wiltshire would be the right back. Samson would be the left back um, in this system. Let me know if you would change it. And then you, they have, they have um, Spence, Primus, Paige Bailey Gale, Cameron, Tiffany Cameron, that is, and um, Khadija Shaw. So do you see tomorrow with um with be, um with this squad you, you see a squad like that let me know you, do you see a squad like that let me know all right um wolski darius says big up big up to you hope all is well all right so jamaica tomorrow it's gonna be a tough game tough tough game but i still believe that um it's a game that jamaica could possible try something in all right it's still a game that jamaica could possible try something in i'm gonna try and pull it up so you could see um the last set of games from both teams what who they have played played so you can look at it all right 
No, I don't think Washington will start. Yeah, that's why I took out Washington and put in um, Wilshire as the right back because most of those games, those tricky games, Wilshire got the nod over a lot of people. So um, I, I, I thought that they would have given it to, to Wilshire, you know? Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm looking at, to be honest. All right, I, I'm trying to get the World Cup up, up and running so we can get all the matches for you. All right, so I'm trying to go to the Jamaica game. So you could see it right here. Um, the, all right, so this should should give you a look in as to what um, Jamaica did in, in the previous games, all right? All right, let me try and get it up here. Okay, so these are the results for Jamaica um, in the last set of competitive games. All right, you saw that France lost to Australia, which Australia is a top team. Um, Sam Kerr and the others, 1-0. Ireland defeated 3-0, defeated Canada 2-1, defeated Colombia 5-3. All right, and you saw Jamaica won, last 5-0 to United States, last 3-0 to Canada, defeated Con Costa Rica, defeated 84-0, which is a big one there, and defeated Mexico as well all right yes so it's a big uh, a big little stretch they had some other games that they played uh, which was uh, not fully full full friend they were friendlies they were not official games they, they they never did well in those games to be honest and then in the tournament one i think it was in australia um they never did well in that as well um showcase some passing um skills so that means they're improving in that as um that side of the game yeah so i i it, tomorrow what we're gonna see from them is something new that's what i can say something new um six in the morning bro um do you not know what a means uh cory don't don't you don't have to disrespect anyone my brother um yes it's six in the morning yes so um this one um it sets for France to win, but I still think that to tomorrow the lack of what France know about Jamaica um, will surprise them. And if they can use that side to them, uh, like in game, that make uh, and keep on changing it for F France to can't understand them, I, I think they can frustrate them. France going in as the favorites, just the same um, as what everyone said. But I have a feeling that um, Jamaica. Uh, will do us proud they will do us proud you know i i think when we left um they we will feel the same like 80 you get me or we might have even one more player that everyone is talking about um saying that they have they have, they have delivered you know and that's once you can leave um, the room with that i will start feel feeling good about the conversation all right and that's all I, that's all i'm settling with you know if we get the win um i would be over the moon I would be over the moon um, for the win. All right. Yes. So let me know your thoughts um, in the comment section as to Jamaica. 5 a.m. Jamaica time. I think England under underestimate 80. I think so. My fault, JD. People just um, ask obvious stuff. Yeah, because obviously people come here sometimes just not checking out other things and want information from us, you know? Yeah. All right. Um, Andres says um, 6 nil. Um, Jamaica 6, France nil. That would have been um, uh, coming out. Um, I am not going to be that unrealistic because I don't see a game like that happening where Jamaica in control of the game. I don't think that will happen. Um, I, the only thing Jamaica can do is to make sure they are not in control in the game of the game and it looks like 80 game. So make it as physical as possible. Make it as hard to handle as possible. That's the only way Jamaica have a chance. But if you put the ball on the field, say you're going to play against them, I think you don't have much chance. Just like how Chidi wouldn't have a chance if they tried to play, play slick pass in football. If you, if you want to win, I think you have to make it dogged, satisfy with less position, make sure you get the right player on the ball in the wide areas and whip in some crosses um, so, and try to go down the middle as well to make it more um, confusing for them and make sure you can break on the counter so you're just ready to go forward. Anytime you get the, the ball, you have to try to go forward. So the wing players have to be on it. 
have to be to my, uh, on it, guys. So um, the Jordy Brown would have to be play a 10-star game for Jamaica to get something out of this. Somebody with speed to go down the wing. I don't expect to see Khadija Shah trying to take on players, trying to do too much. I don't see something like that. I would want more. Um, I would want more from our wingers, not Khadija Shah. Want more from our wingers. You understand me? Um, I would want more from our wingers. Um, yes, I'm going to try and go through the start in 11 now. And guys, remember, this is going to be a shorter version video. Just like yesterday, 45 minutes to an hour maximum. So please do smash the like button as you come in. Share and um, subscribe. All right. Um, let, let's get the likes up on the video. I think you guys not doing the girls them good because we are on 24 likes. Look at that. 24 likes in a, um, a post match. That is extremely disrespectful for everything that we have done. You know, um, some someone let Saka Sofa know um it is um Saleh and uh, and Giselle okay no problem. Uh JD, what is your predicted starting lineup? Um definitely Becky in goal. Spencer Spencer in goal. Um I think both sisters will start at the back. Both babies will start at the back. So Swaby, um, C Swaby and A Swaby will start at the centre back pairing, and they, and they are gonna do a good job, cause I think they they are good players. Sometimes they might can get caught out, but yeah. Um, over the left back side now, the left back side, I think, I I think for the left back side, we might have to go with Samson at the left back side. No, you have uh no, but you have um. You have, uh, what's her name again? She's still there. Blackwood. And they seems to like Blackwood. And want the pace from Blackwood. So maybe they will go with Blackwood. Because they, she, she playing over the left back side for a long time. For me, I wouldn't start her. I would have used um, Samson. And also... Um, um, Wiltshire. Because I thought both of them are very much organized. Um, properly quality player they make the right decisions so i would have used um vivian samson and um wilshire both of them but i know that black blackwood will be the team will meet the, the the theme of a left back side i don't know what the coach seen that i am not seeing and everybody else not seen um alex alexander period says um i'm from 80 but i get up um in the morning to watch the game okay no problem thanks very much Pires, man um uh, what's the we the weather like over there can it work um in favor of jamaica um it's possible um majority of the parts of the world have okay weather i will tell you the degrees um um soon all right so for me i would put vivian samson over the left back side at this point and um and on Wiltshire over the right back side. That's what I would would want because you want somebody who can play out of transition, uh, play play out of um the back, um and play accurate out of the back. And because they are midfielders naturally, I think they will get better passes off. You get me? So that's my four at the back, and then in midfield I would have Drew Spence, Drew Spence, Drew Spence, um. I would have to put five in midfield as well. So if you are a winger and you can't you can't do extra work, I think you're in problem. All right. So I would put two around them, um, Primus and Drew Spence, which they normally use deeper. Um, Primus to try and link the player Drew Spence to make sure she can put in as much tackle. All right. Tiffany Cameron, I would have started her in the uh, over the right wing, right midfielder side to make sure she can put her energy in. Worked um, with um, with Wilshire over that side. Two of them can work good together. Yes. So I, I would go with Tiffany Cameron. Then um, Trudy Carter would be in my, in my team as well. Trudy Carter would be in my team as well. And then now this is where um, I would have to go with Paige Bailey Gale. Paige Bailey Gale would have been my player that I would have brought in to play over the left hand side. 
You understand me? Because she can play the deeper role as a more left midfielder. And I think she looks comfortable right there. And Khadija Shah up, up top by herself. Because you can't put out um, wingers in this game and expect them to just have the ball. I think you're going to waste your positions. Alright? So that's my team. Um, Samson, Swaby, 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 Wilshire at the back. Then we have um, Spence, Paige Bailey Gale, Cameron, um, Primus and also Tif um, Trudy Carter and um, Khadija Shah. So that is my 11. All right. Let me take the rest of the comments right here. Minaret Blackwood never see she have a good game for Jamaica. Maybe before we, she's, you know, uh, when the Ruga, the, the Ruga playing their match. All right. Um, CBK says Jamaica can't concede a goal early or else it's going to be L out there. That is true. Um, Jason said Spencer Swaby Plummer, left back Wilcher, right back Swaby. Um, okay, so you have Sw Plummer in a center back. Defensive central Samson, um, Spence, Primus, Jody Brown, right midfielder Cameron, and um, Shaw. Okay, five four one thing five four one will rapidly become um something of a six at the back. <laughs> what time will the Raiders play their game? Who is the Raiders? I don't understand. Are you calling France the Raiders? Um, good evening, Alex Kelvin. How are you doing? Hope all is well with you and the family. All right, so yes, we have um done our do. Let me see if the likes is up as what. I expect it to be. Oh, it's still at 24. Oh, my days. All right. So I think this video don't deserve any more um, of my time. All right. So if the, the videos can't be liked, I have no time wasting um, for you lot. All right. Yep. I'm telling you the honest truth. I am not happy when I come on the streams and I don't see likes on the video. And we have 70, 80 people here. No, that can't work. All right. Um, yeah, I saw what you said, the 541. Um, 80 is my best team. Um, not necessarily the best performing team, but they did a good job. 25 likes, I'm here, yes, but I'm I am not happy when I see those things. You get me? I I find it extremely disrespectful um when it comes on to that. I don't play those games. But, anyways, I have reached um 30 minutes. So let me just go through the predictions for tomorrow's games. Alright, yes. So let me just go through them what you saw and what you believe will happen and then we just shut the show off if you are you're new definitely subscribe um to make it closer to the 9500 all right yeah man um well corey it's okay um i was going to end on 45 so it does not even matter you understand me yeah so anyways we have these games and that we we need to to predict so sweden sweden because all of my results you know <coughs> pretty much on point so sweden i'm picking sweden um south africa all right and um for P portugal um netherlands i'm going for netherlands in that one so that's the first two games that will be playing throughout um the morning all right so you don't have any other game and until um the next couple hours well all right so those are going to be early morning games all right and then now you have the jamaica game so jamaica versus france let me know um your your prediction for that one jamaica versus france all right and that is the final game at least for me tomorrow all right yes so Jamaica versus France, what say you guys um, in the comment section? All right, Jason said 3-1 um, Sweden, 3-1 Sweden, uh, Martin, Nitro says 1-1, one, one. Netherlands 2, Portugal 1. All right, um, um, Danica says 1-1 one, one draw. All right, and then let me go to, to the Jamaica result because that's the only game for tomorrow and then we are pretty much done. <clears throat> All right, I'm um, Sweden 2-0. Um, Sian says 4-1 um, for Jamaica game. Wagana says 2-1. All right, um, Sport City says 2-2. Two, two. Wow, four goals in Simon's prediction. George says out of out of the teams that has played so far, United States and Spain are the only team that have lived up to the expectations. I don't think United States lived up to the expectations. Um, 
they, they did do the bare minimum what we expected from them. Next game, they're going to be much better, I think, you know. I'm going to have to wait and see. I think Spain and Japan lived up to that hype, all right? Lived up to that hype. Um, CBK says, Jamaica 2-1 over France. Scorer said 3-0, no disrespect. 3-0 um, France, he says, right there. Um, Blair Vida says 2-2 two, two draw. Wow, that would be amazing. Um, Fabian Full says 3-0 uh, um, 3 nil France. All right. So, people, um, yeah, they stole the show today in a losing effort, but definitely they put um, you know, England on the back foot. And to be honest, I thought that England sh it should have lost that game. Eddie yeah, should have won that game. So, let's see if Jamaica can do a Eddie yeah, or a New Zealand. All right, because a lot of the smaller teams putting up some good fight. We saw um, Vietnam putting up a good um, account for themselves um, in the United States game. Costa Rica never... They never feared off well. It was down to Spain not finishing their chances. Spain put up 50 piece on, on Costa Rica. So Costa Rica never lived up to that. But at least Jamaica have some people that they could use um, to motivate themselves. All right. So guys... Um, we have had a wonderful stream, so make sure to just put the, the rest of the comments in the comment section. And tomorrow, we will be back at it. I'm going to make the stream for the Reggae Girls, and we will be here from 11, so we can give you as to what happened in the first two games. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, and have a nice night. Take care.